Have you ever tried using motion matching in your game and realized that you can only claim certain blocks made for this purpose? What if I told you that there is a way to claim any wall in your game? I am Ask, and in today's video I will show you an advanced method to fully unlock motion matching and even improve your character export process. If you want to master this tool and make your game even more realistic, stay until the end of the video because this trick will change how you use motion matching. To start, leave your like, subscribe to the channel and let's go! First, let's create a new project. Click here on games, then third person and let's name it test blocks. Then click create. With the project created, we can now export the motion matching character. I already have another video on the channel that I will leave in the card explaining in more detail this cleaner export of motion matching, but today I will show you a slightly different export process. We will export the characters already with retargeting because it's much easier way to do. When you're in your project, retarget your character instead of having to go through the, that whole process, which is quite difficult and often leads to several errors. In this process, you already have several models here with uh, retargeting ready, like the MetaHuman model, uh, models from Paragon, uh, Unreal 4, and the Queen and many models from Unreal 5. So it's already easier to simplify this ready retarget, which is already has the blueprint prepared and place your character. So select everything, right click, asset actions, migrate. Select all the options and click OK. Go to the folder of the new project we created. Uh, ours is called test blocks, right? Open the folder, select the content folder, and inside it, click select the folder. Apply to all, and you can click no. Here, it's asking if you want to overwrite files that already have the same name. We don't need to do that now. So don't overwrite it, just click no. This way, if you already have a beauty project, uh, it won't break anything in your project. After a few minutes or seconds, uh, it's normal for this application to crash and close, but the migration happens anyway. With the migration completed, we already have motion matching in our new project. This process is very simple. By clicking on Blueprint, you can already see the motion matching mannequin. Uh, here, uh, let's drag it into the map. Go to search, type POS. Scroll down and hit Auto Process Player, select Player 0. Let's open the blueprint. Here it already shows some errors, but that's normal because we need to activate the plugins here in the new projects platform. So let's go. Edit plugins, enable the one that the top as well, animation next chooser. Animation Locomotion Library, Animation Warping, Motion Trajectory, Motion Warping, and Post Search. Then click Restart Now. Let's open the character's blueprint again. Now it no longer shows errors. Let's hit play. And our motion matching character is now fully available in the game. Now it's ready for the project. If you notice, it can't claim these blocks. Motion matching uh, has already uh, have its own its own blocks, and there's a bit different from the traditional ones. I will show you how to place these blocks in the project. Go to level prototyping folder, level block traversable, and drag it to your project. Here, you can already make a block that is climbable. Uh, let's drag a few here, in different sizes to create different movements. 
And these motion matching blocks also show you uh, the height uh, they're at. Because the, the jump performance varies depending on the block's height. And the block's thickness also makes the difference. Let's test it. Now, yes, these blocks allow motion matching to work perfectly. A big problem is that often we have other projects that already have these old blocks. So, how do you do it? Well, I found a very interesting plugin created by channel Umut Farouk, which I'll leave in the link in the description, uh, where it allows you to use motion matching even with these traditional blocks. It will probably save you a lot of time of your project, uh, without needing the, the redo the entire maps block out. The link I left is for his video and not directly for the file. So we can support his channel and thank for the amazing plugin he created. With the link you find on Umut Farouk's channel, you open this page, click on code and download zip. Choose the folder where you want to save it and click save. With the file saved, just right click and extract everything to unzip it. When you open the folder, you see some files. Uh, a content folder inside, a blueprints folder, components, and two files in it. These two files are what we'll use for the project. Go back a few folders and copy the components folder inside the blueprints folder. This is what we'll add to our project. Go to the project, open the projects folder, we can go directly to Blueprints, right click, show in Explorer. It will open the Blueprints folder inside our project. And here, paste the folder we extracted. Inside it, you will find the two components, the two plugins we will use. Now, let's move to the installation in the Blueprint. Right inside uh, the character's blueprint, we have the configuration of all actions and movies of our character. Look for IA jump. Here we have two traversal functions. We'll replace these two. First, click on add, type AC underscore. And here the two plugins already appear. They are actor components that we'll add to the project. Add both. With both plugins added, drag the first AC Trace Traversal and let's pull the Tri Traversal, which is one of its components. Duplicate this component by copying and pasting or holding Ctrl plus D. And let's configure it the same way as it currently set up in the blueprint. Let's maximize here to, to make it easier to visualize. The first is set as for duration and the second is for one frame. These are the ways those jumps work. So let's replace these two items. Connect all the connectors. And don't forget to connect AC Trace Traversal to the second one. And let's test it. Look, before we couldn't climb these blocks. These are the traditional Unreal blocks. This will already help a lot in your project. If you already done a, a block out before and needed to replace all the blocks in the map, now you don't need to do anymore. It will climb both motion matching blocks and standard blocks. I believe this will save you a lot of time. It still has some limitations. The block uh, can't have uneven edges or rounded corners. The straighter is it, the easier it is for the character. So that standard block out we do behind the map elements, which don't have collision for example, uh, it's normal to use this type of strainter block instead of, of this more rounded block here. See, 
it already has trouble climbing. Uh, it can even do it, but on the side it can. And there's also a way to block its climbing, because we don't want to, to climb everywhere. So I will show you how to do that. Just go to basic shapes. Let's add two normal cubes to the map. Shift plus end. It will align parallel to the ground. It's an easier way to place your object on the ground. Let's scale it. And, and here, as it is, we can climb on the wall. Look. Alright, I will show you how to prevent the character from climbing. Click on the item itself, type TAG for tag, and add a bonnet tag. Alright, let's test it. Now the character can no longer climb. This way we can set limits on where it should or shouldn't climb. I took advantage of this new blockout feature to create a quick 2D game. For honor's sake, I re-rigged the character from the last video and let's place her in this game. The assets in this map all come without any collision. So I did the, the blockout using common blocks already configured with this new plugin. And this is what's the result. I'll leave a pool on the YouTube channel if you want to see a tutorial on how to make 2D games in Unreal. Check it out later if you want to leave your vote. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below to share your thoughts and have an amazing day.